This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Let's start with creating a new composition. I will name this composition as title. Time duration for this composition will be just 5 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now let's create a new solid. This will be our background layer. Make sure fill color is set to black color. Perfect, now let's add the text. Here you can add any text of your choice. Here I will be using Unisans font family, font style 2, heavy. Let's increase the font size, now align the text to center. Perfect. Let's hide the text layer. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our sub layer. Now from effects, video copilot, select Seba, if you can't see this Seba option. Then you need to install Seba plugin. Link is provided in the description. For Seba, in Customize Core, select Core Type 2, Text Layer. Now select the Text Layer. Change Preset. Here we will use Preset, Thin. You can change the glow color if you want. Now at one second, create keyframe for glow intensity, at start of the timeline. Change intensity to 0%. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for core size, set core size to 0. Now at 1 second, change core size to 2. Now at end of the timeline, change core size to 0. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for mask evolution. Now go at the end of the timeline. Change the evolution to 180 degrees. Now set start size to 25%. You can see the preview. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for start offset. Now at one second. Change start offset to 60%. Now at near about 4 seconds, change start offset to 0%. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for end offset. At start of the timeline, change end offset to 25%. Now press U to view all created keyframes. Now select the end keyframe for glow intensity, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now select the keyframes for course size. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now select keyframe for start offset. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now select the end keyframe for end offset. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now for Seba, in render setting, change composite setting to transparent. Perfect, now for this Seba layer, in effects and preset. Search for Bevel Alpha, add it to the Seba layer. For Bevel Alpha, set edge thickness to 8. Change light angle to 0. Change light intensity to 1. Now again add Bevel Alpha. Change edge thickness to 8. 
change light angle to minus 45 degree. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for unsharp mask, add it to the adjustment layer. For unsharp mask, set amount to 25. Set radius to 3. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius. Now at start of the timer line, change blur radius to 20. Now at end of the timer line, change blur radius to 1. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now select the end keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now change the Sabre layer to 3D. Create a new camera layer. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, reduce the Z position value as shown. Here I will set it to near about 1500. You can see the preview. Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now again create a new null object. Change null 2 to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. Final press P to bring up position. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timer line, increase the Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our first title is created. Now let's see how to create multiple title. Here I will name this composition as title 1. Now let's create two duplicates of this title 1 composition. Open the title 2 and D3 composition. Here we will change the text for the text layer. You can enable the text layer and change the text, or you can do it directly without making the text layer visible. Align the text to center. Perfect. Now let's change the text for third title composition. Align it to center. Perfect. Here you can see three title composition are ready. Now let's see how to bring them into a single composition. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as trailer. Here you can set time duration according to the number of title compositions you have created. I will set it to 12. Now add title to the composition. Here I will place each composition at distance of 4 seconds. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can create multiple title and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.